hello children very good morning i hope everyone is safe and secure so during this rainy seasons please be at home uh, avoid going out while driving make sure to switch on your headlights and drive slowly and steady do not touch or go near to electric poles and do not walk or drive close by poles and billboards please take care now look at this picture children what a man is doing yes the man is carving stone into sculpture what do you mean by stone carving it is nothing but an activity where pieces of rough natural stones are shaped by the controlled removal of stone it is one of the activities which may be used by an artist when creating a sculpture the term also refers to the activity of masons in dressing uh, stone blocks for use in architecture building or civil engineering today we are going to start a new lesson called the last stone carver from unit 2 pros so before we start let us do some activity now look at the first activity so you have to read the instructions and draw and name the picture so draw a letter a just below draw a letter b so a is a cap for b then give b one eye a round nose and a big mouth the picture clue will be the one who is in circus now you have to find out who will be in the circus the next activity is a very interesting activity children so you have to write step by step instructions uh, for the following picture first you have to draw a letter d and then draw a semicircle starting from the middle of d then draw a tail and four legs after that draw an ear at the top of d and finally give a round nose and a big mouth Okay children now listen to the lesson The young man flung the hammer and the chisel to the ground and cried I'm leaving father I'm leaving you and this work look what's it's brought us He spread out his arms and glanced indifferently at the small congested workroom The whitewashed walls were stained by many mansoons the window bare of curtains opened into a tiny backyard after all these years of work this is all we have nothing nothing this kind of work just doesn't pay the old man stared at his son in surprise although his voice trembled it didn't lose its usual gentleness it's not only the money that matters son it's the service our service to god father the young man grunted impatiently times have changed the stone carver's work has changed too you can't leave one sculptures for temples only you have to mass produce mass produce like all others in agra come on father wake up so there lived an old man he was a traditional sculptor he made a living by making statues for temples he did this work because he believed in traditions the old man's father was also a sculptor but his son gopal was different he used to argue with his father about the stupidity of not changing his profession for good now let me explain some new words in the passage flung means throw and you know this hammer and chisel are very important for any sculptor congested means overcrowded bare means not having anything stared looked trembled shake grunted low voice the lines around the man's mouth tightened no my son this is the work I learned from my father and he learned from his father we have kept up this tradition for hundreds of years 
and I hoped you would continue our work. No, father, the young man replied with determination. I am tired of working for a pittance for the committee of the temple in Srinagar. I am leaving, father. The young man moved angrily out of the room, leaving his old father crouching in front of a finished marble statue. He dropped his hands into his laps and closed his eyes. He began to pray and didn't even hear the hesitant goodbye. His son called out from the door. Master Jing called Salim, the servant boy, entering the workshop barefooted. He held out a glass of steaming tea in his hand. Master Jing, he asked once more. His voice filled with concern. The old man looked up. His face was ashen. He looked tired. He called the boy to come closer and motioned him to sit down. Salim, he said gently, soon I will be the last stone carver here. All the others would have gone to Agra. There they are turning out cheap candle stands, paperweights and ashtrays by the dozen. They are making money. But they betray our skill, our age-old tradition. Now Gopal has also gone. I will have to finish this culture alone. And with the help of God, I will do it, Salim. I know you will master Jing, the boy answered. You will make many more. The old man looked at the orphan boy who had come to work for him five years ago. Drenched to the skin, dressed in tatters, he had begged for shelter during months in storm and had stayed on to work for the old master craftsman. He had grown tall and strong. The old man knew that Salim too would leave him one day. He shook his head. My strength is waning. I can't work with the chisel like I used to. Carving takes too long, much too long. Then he straightened up and said with a fresh determination, I will have to finish this work and surely I will. Yes, you will, the boy repeated, offering his master the glass of tea. Drink, please. I will do you good. Then he added, I have to go to the market for an hour or two, but I will be back in time to prepare dinner. The old man nodded. The old man sighed and picked up the chisel and hammer. The cool metal of the tools filled him with happiness and confidence. He loved his work and didn't want to change it for any other in the world. So as we all know, Gopal is not interested in the work. So he used to argue with his father about the stupidity of not changing his profession for goodness. So one day what happened? Gopal went off home for Agra to be a more successful man in life. The old man knew that his son's decision was good, but he was helpless. He loved his traditions and his cultures. So after his son's departure, he continued to work. Oh, so he had a servant called Salim, who was very dedicated to him. Uh, he came to work there five years ago. So here the determination means firmly and pittance means low salary. Crouching means sitting on the heel. Now look at the exercise given below. So which of the two sentences given below convey the following meaning? Stained by which means mark made on cloths or materials. The whitewashed walls were stained by many monsoons which means the walls were made dirty by rains. That is the right answer. Next one. Working for a pittance, which means working for very little money. I am tired of working for a pittance. So here the answer will be, he didn't want to work as he gets low income for his work. Asian, pale. His face was Asian. So he looked pale and dull. And the last one is drenched which means thoroughly wet. He is drenched to the skin, which means he is completely or thoroughly wet. Okay, children, we will continue the story in the next classes. 
and please take your class work put double line margin write the title and put today's date and write the glossary in your class work notebook thank you take care bye bye have a nice day